In this video, we are going to see three important interlinked topics. First one is Phillips curve. William Phillips was an economist. He did some empirical studies in 1950s and found out that unemployment and rate of inflation were inversely related. The curve looks like this. When inflation was high, unemployment was low. And when inflation was low, unemployment was high. It appeared that by controlling one of these, the other can be controlled. If you want just 2% unemployment in your country, it was possible, but only with higher inflation of 10%. If you are concerned about higher prices and wanted to bring down inflation to 3%, unemployment would rise to 8%. Policymakers were convinced that they can reduce unemployment permanently if they agree for a slightly higher inflation. This policy worked in early 1960s. But later in 70s, unexpected conditions started to emerge. Both unemployment and inflation were high simultaneously. Milton Friedman, who had opposed Keynesian school, had also opposed Phillips curve. Friedman argued that trade-off between unemployment and inflation is only short term and won't work in the long term. This condition of high inflation coupled with high unemployment is called stagflation. Stagflation is a combination of two words, stagnation and inflation. Stagnation means low output or low GDP growth. Stagflation of 1970s manifested ineffectiveness of Phillips curve in all weather conditions. Third topic is natural rate of unemployment. After Phillips curve, in 1960s policymakers were trying to reduce unemployment by increasing inflation through higher spending. This was successful in the beginning. But later it was observed that unemployment showed a natural tendency towards some level. It was not possible to take it below this level by further increasing the inflation. It could be brought down temporarily, but inflation would accelerate to very higher levels. So this level was called natural level of unemployment. If unemployment is brought down below this level, inflation starts to accelerate. Above and at this level, inflation rate does not accelerate. Hence this level was called non-accelerating inflation rate of unemployment or NIRU. Natural rate of unemployment and Nairu are one and the same. 